I'm Carrington and today I'm going to be showing you guys my spring makeup and hair. Hey Sensei. Sensei says hi. If y'all haven't already, go check out my last video when I did Sensei's pamper routine. It was really cute, fun, and he hated it, but I loved it. It's a few days post bath. So first what I'm going to do is wash my hands because it's not early in the morning or anything. It's midday. Um, I've been touching things. And I'm about to be touching my face. So just to make sure I don't get any nastiness on my face, I wash my hands. So we're going to hop right into this video. This is my inspo. I don't really know what I'm going to do because I've never done a look like this, but I'm excited to try and it's spring and I'm just all about like pink, white pastels. Like those are like my favorite colors, like pastel baby colors, like I love. So I wanted to do a video showing you guys what I would do for springtime. Honestly, I probably wouldn't wear, wear, I probably wouldn't do a look like this unless I was really going somewhere. First, I'm gonna start off with my lips. Just moisturizing them. I like to moisturize them first because it looks better when you get ready to do your lips by the time you finish with your face. But if I don't moisturize them before I start my makeup, then my lips are like too dry. And if I moisturize them right before I do my actual like lip look, if you try to line your lips with it like that, it's hard. I'm just pulling up the picture for my inspo. So I stay looking at it so I know what I'm doing, you know? Y'all know that tree pose that people be saying Nard of all the time? I don't know if that's like a tall person thing. Like I do that all the time because it's just, it feels better to balance on like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to go in with my sunscreen. I just learned a new trick that for your makeup to come out the best, you have to stick to either water-based, all water-based makeup, yeah, all water-based makeup or all silicone makeup. I have more water-based than silicone, so I can't use my actual primer, but they say you can use sunscreen, so hopefully this works. So I'm just going to go in with, this is usually how much I'll wear on a daily, and I'll just put it all over. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my MAC foundation. I'm not going to put that much because again, it's springtime, it's hot, like you don't want to be cakey because you're going to be hot, you're going to want to wipe your face. Not too much. Oof. That was about to come out too much. About this much. Like I'll just do dots everywhere. I don't do too much because I really do like my actual skin tone without makeup. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like my skin color without makeup looks really nice. But it's just not even. So, like it's not even tone. So I just get a little bit and then... It kind of evens it out for me, like, but just not doing too, too much. Like, that's enough. The way I was just fighting for that top to stop flying around the sink. Now, oh, I was supposed to do brows first. Well, I'm gonna do brows. This is the side I use when I've already put makeup on, and it's the side I use when I haven't put makeup on. Clearly. So, first, I just brush them up. I feel like it makes my face look more wide and open and clean and sleek. That was a lot of adjectives. So I'm going to get this God TV Blue spray. And I'm going to spray it on here. So some people, they'll like keep it going up and then have it like that but I like to kind of smooth them down on the ends before I put concealer on I want to put this on my cheeks already it's called smoke and mirrors I don't know where I got it from I think my grandmother gave it to me for like Christmas or my birthday and it's kind of like glittery just a little bit which I like because I feel like this look kind of looks like fairy makeup in my opinion. So I'm just gonna blend that in. 
kind of has like a shimmer to it. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer. So with this, I'm just gonna do a dot here towards the end. Ooh, that was too much. Ooh, I'm just add some more on the side. I'm just gonna do this, kind of shape it how I want it to look on my face. Then I'm gonna also bring it in the corner right here and drag it down. And I'm just doing padding motions. I am genuinely so excited for spring and summer. I just want to be in the warm air. I want to enjoy the feeling of birth and new beginnings. I'm so fascinated with birth right now. I just think about it and I'm just like, <clears throat> a human body and really any species that can give birth. I find it so amazing now. Like it's like it's like a, a epiphany all of a sudden where I'm just like we build a whole being. You're constructing a whole life. Like if you think about your life right now and how you have so many memories, so many emotions, so many feelings about so many things, all of that was just formed. Like you're creating that. You're creating a human being. And I just feel like that is so like like that's amazing so i'm getting this this is a very old like highlighter palette and i'm using this color and a little bit of this because it's just really shimmery clearly i used it a lot um and i want to just i really want to get my cheeks down pat because based on this photo she got hella pink blush and i only have one pink blush but it's and it's not even that pink it's like it's pink, but it's a uh, um, darker pink, you know, for browner skin. So now, some more concealer. Does that look like a cat? Yeah, something like that. So with this, I kind of just let this dry before I get to, you know, really going into it. I don't know if y'all noticed, but if you're like looking at this video and you're kind of like, what is she doing? You probably noticed that I'm trying to incorporate hair into everything I do because y'all just love my hair videos. I'm just patting it into my face. I'm not blending anything yet. I mean, I'm kind of blending it, but not really. I'm just trying to pat it in my skin so that it's like, I don't know how to explain it, bro. It's so beautiful how music is so healing without you even really noticing sometimes. I think it's looking good so far. I just realized... <clears throat> Am I here, baby? She does like low-key a tiny smidge of smoky eye. I'm gonna just use black eyeshadow and she doesn't have like a super duper strong contour so i'm also not going to do a super strong contour i'm going to do a powder contour oh let me make sure this matches me <laughs> let me look at this picture people who are like super good at makeup are amazing it's giving feline. I'm just gonna start blending that out at this point. Y'all like it so far? We're going to contour just a little bit. To me, it doesn't like she did too much with the contour. She tried to keep it like a very light look. Drag it down like that. The best way to explain the direction is she's going from high cheekbone to straight down here. Instead of trying to connect it with the end of the lip, she's connecting it with the bottom of her jaw towards the chin. Powdering. I'm about to try something I've never done before. My <laughs> contour is broken. So I'm gonna get like a tiny piece. I'm gonna mix it. 
doing a lot so first before i just start going into my eye going up i'm gonna go down here we go i'm so scared press that into my face <laughs> is it giving ghostly oogly boogly that was uncalled for kind of like light up here but really not that much okay now we're going to we're going to do the eyes first i'm going with this kind of brush but it's a little bit harder but it's still like fluffy a little bit it's like kind of hard but still fluffy i'm gonna go in with she kind of has it on her waterline i'm gonna try to show you on camera what i'm doing I showed y'all enough. Yeah. And she didn't do too much because it's very light under there. She kind of has it here. She kind of like drags it down and then up into a more precisioned wing. So cute. Now I'm going to get this. And this is what I'm going to fluff the ends out with. Now I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow um brush i need to show y'all what this is this one is a fluffy brush i'm gonna buff out my waterline my goodness i'm gonna go in with this color and this color this color and this color now i'm gonna put this closer to my waterline imagine doing a makeup routine like this to go to school i would be late every day so now I'm going to get this brush, same colors, and I'm going to put it into like this area. I want to go back in with a little bit more of this black eyeshadow just to give myself kind of like liner here. Cause she does have a little bit. Now we're going to do mascara. Mascara is my favorite part. So close to love. almost forgot i want to add a little bit of shadow in my brow area i feel like i'm still not like super bright under that eye so before i go in with my finishing touches out of blush. I'm just gonna hit it with a yeah. She has a very sharp, like you can tell. It's a pretty sharp cut off from I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to be using this brush for the blush. Be with me, fella guy. I got all the major spots so you can see the pink on me it's not like this color pink because i don't really got that but it's on there so i'm gonna just blend that in i got a little bit on the brow because she has it on her brow or her brow bone not her brow now i'm going with this brush and i'm gonna get both of these and even the extra i'm just i'm gonna dust that all over put some highlighter on my highlighted spots lip liners go over the full base of this color because it's like a nude not really a pink i'm gonna add a little bit of this because it's the pink gloss now we're going to put a little bit of this on my lips i'm gonna use this i'm gonna get the lightest one line my lips with a brown liner to use this kind of like reddish pinkish gloss to go on top because she has glossy lips okay what do y'all makeup good 
I think the makeup did good. Okay, so for the hair, has her hair in a pony. Just like that, like the clean girl slick back. Arriba! Wait, jump, 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 jump. Already have it like split down the middle. We gonna figure it out. First, I'm gonna get some water. Just wet it up. I'm going to go on some gel. A good amount. We're going to try to gel it in the way I want it to lay. Use the same motions. Hercules! Whoo! We got it into a ponytail. Alright. We're gonna fix the ponytail after we finish doing this. So the way that she has it is almost like how she just does her edges. She just makes them like that. And then she swoops up. So now, this is where we go with the gotcha be because we need something that's gonna really hold it down. PLP, hold it down. Get you a strong gel, whatever is strong for your hair type. This is what's strong for mine. First look. Now, she don't do baby hairs, which is saddening because I like to do my baby hairs, but this is technically how she does her baby hairs. She sticks them into a straight line. I have a big head. And just to keep a note, we do have two different hair types. So if you can't get your hair perfectly like how the ISPO is, or even like mine, just remember, we all have different hair types, different people, we're all beautiful. I look so pretty. This is the finished look. How do y'all feel about it? I love it. I personally feel like I look like a fairy, like a Barbie. I need to put some hair in exam, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I really, really, really love it. And I would say I look very much like the inspo. I couldn't get my baby hairs or the front of my head to look exactly straight like that. I don't know how to did that. But thank you guys for watching. I enjoy doing this look. I wish I had somewhere to go, but I don't. So I'm gonna take pictures, film myself, and just be a happy girl. Because sometimes it's okay to make yourself look pretty and not be going anywhere. Just look pretty for yourself. Enjoy your own beauty. You don't have to give your beauty to anybody else. You just keep it all to yourself. <laughs> but that's all. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I might catch y'all in the next video. Be blessed. But I'll be on it always.